You've probably heard of Spanish ham, jamón. You might have even tried it. It's one of the most incredible inventions to come out of this country. But what is it exactly? And why is it so famous and so tasty? And when it comes to the crunch and you're in Spain, would you know how to tell the great stuff from the just good stuff? I'm James Blick, the Spain guy, and I'm here with all your ham answers. So we're gonna dive into my local market and into the wonderful world of Spanish cured ham. But I can't do it alone. I'm gonna need the help of Jesus. And no, not that Jesus, this Jesus, Jesus, my ham man. He's been slicing pork in this beautiful stall in Madrid's Anton Martin market for over 20 years, and he's a ham genius. You're going to see these babies all over Spain, hanging in markets, hanging in bars, even in people's kitchens. What is a jamón? It's simply the dry cured hind leg of a pig. How do you make one? Well, you got to kill a pig, pop off the back legs, cover it in salt for about a week, and then you know what you do is you hang it to dry for a minimum of just under a year, maximum of three, three and a half years. The great hams are like fine wines and they get better with age, and man, it's, it's, getting, it's getting heavy. But when it comes to ham, it's a confusing world, and so this is the information you need to make great ham choices. Check out the prices on Jesus's hams, from 16 euros all the way up to 128 euros. What gives? What's the difference? Well. I'm afraid not all hams are created equal, and it comes down to breed. So there's these guys, Jamón Ibérico. These are from a native breed to Spain called the Iberian pig, and it's just tastier. And then there's these guys back here, Jamón Serrano, and that's anything that's not the Iberian pig. And it's simpler. We still love it, but it doesn't have the depth of flavor of this stuff. And how can you tell the difference? You gotta look at the hoof. These guys have black hooves. That's why they're sometimes called pata negra, black hoof. And if by some cruel trick of fate you could only eat one piece of cured Spanish ham in your life, which would it be? Muchas gracias. Jamón Ibérico de Bellota. It smells incredible. This little piece of heaven is from a black hoofed pig but a special one, a free range black hoof pig that's been rooting around the countryside, very, very happy. And in the last three or so months of its life, it's just been eating acorns that have been falling from the oak trees around where it lives. And those acorns have an oleic acid, which enriches the flavor of the meat and takes what is already delicious, the Iberian pig, right into the stratosphere. It makes it a super Iberian pig. 128 euros a kilo, best to be enjoyed like and with a fine wine. Mm. I'm not even going to tell you how good it is. You just need to try it. You need to taste it. It's rich. It's lingering. It's unbelievable. All right, I'm going to go get some wine. So you're in Spain and you want to have a great ham experience. Well, here are my three tips. Number one, remember to look out for the word bellota, that means acorn, and the black hoof, so you know it's the Iberian pig. Then you know you're eating the creme de la creme, the, the jamón ibérico de bellota. Number two, don't get your ham in a tapas bar. Go to a market, see a guy like Jesus and get it from him. You'll get the same thing and you'll pay a much lower price and it's kind of more fun. Number three, you can take ham home, but get a guy like Jesus to vacuum pack it. They'll do vacuum packing. It'll keep for three months like that, just as long as you keep it at room temperature. If you want to see more videos about how we eat, drink, live and love in Spain, subscribe. If you like this video, give me a YouTube thumbs up down below and well, don't do it for me. Do it for Jesus. Hasta luego.